631 example two, this is a long copper rod of radius capital R. So, and it just goes off there to infinity. And it has a radius of capital R. Okay. And we are going to find the H vector inside and outside of this rod, um, given that it carries a uniformly distributed free current I. So there's some current I flowing throughout this thing, throughout the inside of there, and obviously no current outside. Okay, so um, we're going to draw some Amperian loops. Um, the uh, behavior of copper is that it's it's weakly diamagnetic, so there will be a magnetic field uh, that sets up in opposition to um, what the current will create. So um, so let's calculate H. Um, let's take a loop on the inside. Some radius small r, okay, centered for uh, symmetry. And so we, get, we go, okay, so the H vector, um, no, let's use black now. So the H vector times the circle, the length of the circle, 2 pi r, is equal to the free current enclosed, which is just the, the current flowing through um, the, the, the wire or the, the tube uh, cylinder, I guess is right. And it's the area of this thing. And that current has to be divided up across the total area because it's uniform there. And so we can calculate our H vector is equal to, well, these guys cancel out and you get I over two pi capital R squared R. And the direction it's gonna flow is in the phi hat direction. Okay, you can do the right hand rule to see that for yourself. And this is for the case where R is within the copper tube, copper um, cylinder. Outside, so let's take a, another Amperian loop here. So we get um, H two pi R is equal to I and the total current enclosed is just I. So the end result is H vector is equal to I over 2 pi R um, pointing in the phi direction. That's R is greater than or equal to R vector. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, okay. Um, now outside we know that the Uh, magnetization outside here because there's no matter to magnetize so the magnetization must be equal to zero so we have H vector is equal to 1 over mu naught B vector minus M vector well M vector is zero so we get the B vector is equal to mu naught uh, over 2 pi I over R in the phi hat direction that's when R is greater than R okay so inside the wire, we don't have a way to calculate what the magnetic field of magnetization would be because um, we haven't introduced linear um, linear magnetization yet. So um, anyway, that's what happens with example two. And I'm going to continue with the conclusion to this section in the next video. So thank you for your time. Take care and bye-bye.